Have you ever found yourself wondering what sets great leaders apart from the rest? In today's video, we're exploring the five essential skills that leaders must develop to excel in their role based on my decade of experience. So whether you are a seasoned leader or aspiring to be one, stick around to discover the skills that will take your leadership to the next level. You know, some leaders out there might argue that being loved in the workspace isn't a big deal. But here's the thing. The best managers understand that having strong relationships with their teams is key to success. It's not about being buddies, it's about being effective. When you got those solid, trust-filled bonds with your team, magic happens. Seriously, investing time in building those connections set you up for major wins as a leader. And get this, research shows that good relationships at work don't just make people feel warm and fuzzy inside, they boost productivity big time. Like we're talking 21% more productive. Plus, teams with high employee engagement have fewer quality issues and way less absenteeism. So even if being everyone's best friend isn't your top priority, being a pro at building those strong work relationships, that's essential. And here's the payoff. When your team feels connected and happy, you are not just a boss, you are a respected leader. Your team loves what they do and those awesome relationships you have built. All right, let's talk about something that's been on everyone's radar lately, adaptability. Back in 2008, a study by Development Dimensions International highlighted the importance of being able to drive change as a leader. But fast forward to 2024, and adaptability has taken center stage as one of the most crucial skills for leaders. Think about it, leaders today are facing a crazy mix of challenges, from intense competition in the business world to global issues like the climate change and of course the curveball thrown by the pandemic and let's not forget about all the other unexpected shifts happening around us so what's the key to thriving in this ever-changing landscape adaptability my friend effective leaders must be like chameleons able to adjust and pivot at a moment's notice even if it means stepping out of your comfort zone but here's the thing being agile and adaptable isn't about just rolling with the punches. It's about having a mindset of lifelong learning. You gotta stay sharp, keep up with the industry trends, and always be on the lookout for ways to give your team that competitive edge. Now, how do you actually develop this superpower of adaptability? Well, it starts with taking ownership and being accountable. As a leader, you got to lay out a plan for how you will respond to change. And this plan should have a clear timeline that keeps you on track and lets you evaluate how well you are adapting. Eisenhower said, no battle was ever won according to plan, but no battle was ever won without one. Moving on to number three, let's talk about motivation. Because when it comes to keeping your team firing on all cylinders, is just as important as building those solid relationships. Suppose you are a leader who knows how to keep your team pumped up and ready to tackle anything that comes their way. That's the kind of leadership skills that sets you apart. A study by Interact based on feedback from 10,000 employees in the US found that the top complaint from workers about their managers was a lack of appreciation. But get this, when managers show appreciation for their team's effort, engagement showed up by a whooping 60%. According to research by Westminster College, a solid 32% of employees say that boosting morale is the top motivation technique they prefer. And it makes sense, when your team feels motivated, they are happier, more engaged, and more confident in their ability. When employees are not feeling motivated, it can hit you where it hurts, financially speaking think attrition and low productivity, all stuff you definitely want to avoid. Now let's talk about decision making, because as a leader, it's one of the biggest. I mean, you are constantly faced with choices that can make or break your organization. Whether it's a big game-changing move or just a small tweak to your strategy, your decision as a leader are what set the course of your success or failure. And let's be real, being a leader means having the guts to make the tough calls even when they are not popular. It's about being sound, rational, and solid in your decision making. Sometimes even the best layout plans don't pan out. And that's where adaptability comes in. And as a leader, you have got to be able to pivot when things don't go according to plan, while still standing by your decisions. Leading a team is no walk in the park. It's tough, it's challenging, and it often means making some really hard decisions. 
especially when the pressure is on. Now, here's where critical thinking comes into play. According to research by Brandon Hall Group, is the number one skill that leaders need to successfully steer the ship. So what exactly is critical thinking? Well, it's about seeing things clearly and making logical connection between different ideas. Critical thinkers, they are like the Sherlock Holmes of decision making. Super smart, highly analytical, and always keeping their cool. Critical thinking isn't just something you are born with. It's a skill you can learn. It usually involves three steps. Step one, frame the problem. This means digging deep to really understand what's going on. Hint, the problem you think you are dealing with might not actually be the real issue ask questions. Step two, explore potential solutions. Don't just go with your gut. Take the time to weigh your options and consider different perspectives. And finally, step three, make your decision. There is rarely a perfect solution. You have got to be willing to make trade off and sacrifice some things to get what you really want. If you want to master these skills faster, you should watch this video where I share five books about leadership. Thanks for watching and see you next week.